In this problem, we're being asked to find the limit. So whenever you're evaluating limits, the first thing you should always try is to take this number and plug it in. If we do that, we end up dividing by zero. So we need another strategy in this problem. So I'm thinking maybe we can just multiply out the numerator and see what happens. So this is the limit as h approaches zero. So to multiply this out, there's a formula. You basically square the first one. You multiply the x and the h and you double them, so plus 2xh. And then you square the last one, so plus h squared. And then minus, we still have our x squared here. And this is all being divided by h. So this is the limit as h approaches zero. Let's see, it looks like the x squareds cancel. So we have 2xh plus h squared, all divided by h. Good stuff. Uh, you'll notice that I've kept writing the limit sign. You always want to write it until you actually take the limit, which in our case is going to mean plugging in zero. Looks like we can factor out an h now in the numerator, so this is the limit as h approaches zero. Then h parentheses looks like 2x and then plus h. Yeah, that works because h times 2x is 2xh. h times h is h squared, so the factoring looks good. And it's being divided by h. Ah, now they cancel. So this is the limit as h approaches 0 of 2x plus h. And so now we've finally reached a point where we can actually plug in zero. So when we do that, we drop the limit sign. And so we get 2x plus zero. So we just get 2x. And that will be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful.